Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. I hope you're having a really, really good day. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can assign a hotkey to enable or disable preview mode, or we call it performance mode in Streamlabs OBS. If you're using OBS Studio, check the link in the description for the OBS Studio version of this video. In this video, it's specifically Streamlabs OBS to enable or disable performance mode using just like a keystroke on your keyboard. And then if you also check the link in the description, I've done a separate video on how you can then integrate that into a Stream Deck button if you've got a Stream Deck. If you don't have a Stream Deck, it's still pretty useful because you're using your keyboard. If you find this useful, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, like send me checks in the post for all of your money. Just do whatever you want. I don't really care. Just just, just enjoy the video. Actually, how do you even enjoy a video like this? It's purely a tutorial on how to do something that's really, really simple and straightforward. Just forget about it, okay? See you later. Okay, so here we've got Streamlabs OBS open. First, we're gonna assign a hotkey to toggle it on and off. So we need to click into the settings in the bottom right-hand corner. We need to go to hotkeys. Now within hotkeys, you can literally assign a hotkey to enable or disable all kinds, the scenes themselves, sources within scenes, loads of different stuff. Stop recording, start recording, start streaming, stop streaming, all kinds of stuff, okay? In-game overlays, saving replays, replays, transitions. We're concerned here with toggling performance mode on and off. And all this does is enable or disable the performance mode. So we right click performance mode. Why is this useful? Well, this is useful, particularly if you've got a low to middle end PC, because, and I've done a separate video about this, how to improve the performance of your PC whilst you're streaming. Check the link in the description. By enabling performance mode, you will see a pretty significant increase to the amount of performance that's available for your PC. And let's just test this. I'm on four it was 4.6 to 6.2% CPU at the moment, which is pretty high, actually. We're going to disable performance mode and, oh, there you go, straight away, 10, 14%. Yeah, it's it's a lot, okay? And back again, 7, 4.5. Woohoo! So we need to go into settings, hotkeys, toggle performance mode, and we literally just add something here. I've deleted that, so it's obviously registered backspace as the toggle performance. I would not recommend using backspace as your toggle performance button. If you're anything like me, the backspace is one of the most used buttons on the keyboard. In fact, mine's worn out so much that I've used it, okay? Uh, my fingers hurt, and the backspace key is worn out from how much I've used that key, so don't use backspace. I do not recommend that. What we want to do instead is highlight it, Control shift p or whatever you want, P for performance or preview if you're on OBS Studio, and then click Done on that. So now Control shift p will enable performance mode without you having to do anything. That is just wonderful, isn't it? Just glorious. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it. If you want to see how to integrate it into your stream deck, check the link in the description. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Take care.